Welcome to Watch and Learn. We're gonna have a quilt off today. We're really excited, but make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can get some more quilting content. And I am Christina Whitney, a studio educator here at Handy Quilter, along with Kim Sandberg and Denise Dowdrick. And today, I get to give them a little bit of a challenge. A little. <laughs> I think it's a lot. What do you think? I think so too. No, we're going to keep it nice. So, on our machine here, mm -hmm. underneath this cover, I have two mystery blocks. Mm. And you guys each get assigned one block. Oh. And you get to come up with the design and show us how you're going to quilt it. Oh, oh boy. Are you guys up for this? I still can't believe we agreed so. to it. <laughs> <laughs> they have not seen the blocks yet. Mm -hmm. I did keep them relatively simple. Okay. Um, I brought in a couple of tools that you can use. I brought some preview paper if you guys want to draw and get okay. some ideas before. Okay. Here's one rule though. Okay. I don't know if this is a good rule now that I'm thinking <laughs> about this rule. Anything that goes through your head as you're thinking through your process, you need to vocalize it. Okay. Okay. No bad words, Denise. So we got to oh, really, really try. Yes. Kayla can edit. Always edit. Okay. okay. Right? <laughs> so we want to know what you're thinking, what okay. the process is. Okay. Questions. Oh, and you guys are going to use the same thread. Okay. We'll have one person stitch at a time. Okay. I feel like I should blindfold the other person, but well, I, we're actually, not going to go that extreme. I wondered about that though. Should we, and should we like, I don't know, paper, rock, scissors or something to decide who's going to go first and who's going to go second? Tallest person first. <laughs> what are you saying, Denise? I'm a short-term quilter. <laughs> and I'm a long-arm quilter. Okay, so close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Okay, Denise, what's your favorite color? Blue. Okay. Because <laughs> I already know Kim's is orange and I don't have an orange block. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're ready for the big reveal. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to pull this fabric off. You guys ready? Yep. yep. Voila! Oh, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> can we look? <laughs> you can look. Okay. 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 Blue. Denise, okay. this is your block. Okay. Okay. Kim, this is your block. Okay. So I'm going to have both of you guys go around and if you want to use preview paper and a pen, you can grab one of those, mm. put them over here. Okay. Okay. And then we'll have one of you guys talk through as you're coming up with ideas. And then the other one. <laughs> Any rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first? I'm stuck on the bad word part already. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family bad. show. Uh, uh, okay, I got some sure. ideas. Rock, okay. paper, scissors. I got some I got, ideas. I got nothing. Okay, I gotta think. I'll go first. Okay, then, then you're, go, I got you're going ideas. first. Okay. 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 Denise, Denise has got ideas. So do you do you want us both to do the design drying? Let, the let's time? do designs first and okay. then we'll have you guys stitch. Okay, okay. so Denise, okay. you go first. All right. We want everyone to see the process. So, I'll let Denise. Uh, and your preview paper and pen is right over perfect. there. Now, are we gonna timer? Um, I don't have a. Okay, there wasn't clock because I turned timing. my phone off. <laughs> okay, I didn't know I was getting timed. Okay. Okay. So my first thought is I am making sure that my preview paper is completely over my block, so <laughs> I don't quilt off the edge onto the lovely quilt below. I would never do something like never, that. Never ever do something like that. So this is our handy quilter preview paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's fabulous for auditioning different designs. It is. Oh, it is. And right off the bat, I'm thinking we've got the ruler base on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some rulers. And I think I'm going to do, oh gosh, I'm going to just do some straight line quilting here in my flying geese blocks. Okay. Look how straight that is without my ruler. Isn't that Fantastic. lovely? <laughs> And I'll hit a few more points in there. And then maybe I'm going to come in and maybe do some ribbon candy below here. Okay, now wait. If she uses a design, <laughs> does that mean I can't use it? No, because we want our quilt to be cohesive. Oh, so. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So then I'll just do some ribbon candy. And then, oh gosh, I still have these other blocks here. Yeah. Maybe I'll do, now I want to stay away from the edge because I'd want my binding to be mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll just do some simple loops over here okay. and I'll keep that continuous. Well, except I'll actually <laughs> include my other loop there. And then I could just travel in the ditch here and come up and do some more ruler work. Okay. And. Oh goodness, I'm so glad we have rulers because I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. 
I love that you had shown how you traveled mm -hmm. to get from one point to another. That's yeah, I a... don't want to break my thread if I don't have to. So I'm going to, I'm going to think about how mm -hmm. I'm getting where I'm going. And I'm stalling, trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to put in the middle. So I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Oh, should I give you an extra mm -hmm. challenge? Okay, in oh. the middle, I would like to see a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christina only gives suggestions. We don't actually have to do it. Oh, she good. Says. Let's just put oh, it good. Oh, good. Nobody listens to me anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just keep. I'm just going to keep dealing with uh, my blocks until I absolutely have to deal with the center because I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing there yet. Okay. And then I'm just going to keep well, you're around. Okay, I'm at the center. So I'm stalling. I'm doing some ruler work, some stitch in the ditch here. I'm stalling and I'll just do some continuous curve. Okay. But I'm going to double down. Oh, I'm going to go around okay. twice. Done. There you go. Okay. Look like at it. you. And I just drew all over my hand. That Beautiful. Totally works. Okay. Okay, Kim, you're up. Okay, you want me to draw first? Oh, yep. I only did ribbon candy in that one. I kind of have to figure out how to do it in those ones. Okay. I'll okay. get there. Okay. I'll get there. <laughs> all right. I'll come and grab my stuff here and we'll... Uh, jump in here. I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not always fantastic at drawing out my designs beforehand. Um, I just, I just want to ask, can I use post-stitcher? Nope, no post-stitcher <laughs> today. <laughs> I had to ask. I even thought about putting a machine on that didn't have post-stitcher so you wouldn't be tempted. Okay. I am thinking of doing something. So Denise really did a block that um, she's highlighting the piecing. She's playing with that. I'm thinking of creating a design here on this that is not necessarily going to follow the piecing. So Ooh. we'll see if I can come up with an idea here. I'm trying okay. to, I'm actually looking at the quilts behind <laughs> Christina trying to get some inspiration here. So what rulers do we have? Do you know? What rulers? I are there's in the a cart. One. Oh, there's some rulers in the cart. Okay. All right. I can pull those out and well, we can take a look. That's okay. I'm just going to try to, I was trying to figure out, I want to do some kind of a, like a star or something in here. Well, and I've noticed on a lot of your quilts, Kim, you do a lot of modern quilting. I so do. Yeah. I was thinking you might go this way. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out here. So, um. I am just not, Denise, you're much more Johnny on the spot than I am here with this. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to draw it out and we'll see if it'll work. If I come and do a nice big arc that goes like this and comes back this side and then do a bit of an echo and then do the same thing here. We'll see what I can come up with, right? I have faith in you, Kim. You have faith in me? All right. That actually looks awesome. But I love that the preview paper lets us try out yeah. our quilting before we even do it. Me too. Me too. It really, it really gives us something fun. Now what I'm thinking is doing some kind of a star here. So maybe I'll do the good old kind of Zentangle one where you go from the side to the middle, to a side, to a middle, to a side, to a middle, to a side to a middle, to a side. Did I narrate that well enough, Christina? That was fabulous. And it looks very, very <laughs> modern. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. <laughs> very modern. My wonky star looks fantastic. Okay, and then, and then what I'm thinking could be fun to do is to actually do a second set of lines down here and just do some squiggles in here to fill it in. And then because I was thinking about doing ribbon candy, but I'll do it just a little bit different. Just a little different. Different. We'll, we'll do We'll do some same kind of shapes. And then what if down here at the bottom, I do a wishbone? So we have kind of that same loopy idea, taking the loops from Denise's. That's just really cute. adding a little something to it. Okay, now, do you guys think I can quilt this? We'll find out. We'll find out. So, okay, I'm just going to draw that much because, you know, it's going to be the same thing over and over again. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little loopy something there in the center. 
Maybe I won't. I love that everything's loopy. I know. (laughs) Well, Denise started it. I mean, (laughs) we're just a little loopy today. It's fine. It's fine. We're having fun. Okay, I'm going to scoot mine over here to the side, and then we'll let Denise go ahead and come and quilt. And, And I want to make a big apology to Denise because this machine is set up at a height that is not um, super fantastic and comfortable for her, but. (laughs) She's calling me short. We can get you a step stool. (laughs) I would fall off of it. I would fall (laughs) off of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the first, my first thought is I'm doing some ruler work. So I am going to change out to the Surefoot because I want that higher profile on Mm -hmm. there and that'll keep me feeling a little more secure that my Absolutely. rulers will line up where I want them to. Yeah. And the ruler base is already on there yep. for you. We have that on. And I always just press down and double check. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna just pop that back there. While you're changing that foot, I just wanna point out that um, you guys used that preview paper and you came up with designs really quickly. A lot of the times you'll have to go through multiple designs before mm-hmm. you pick what you actually want to do. So, so a lot of times I'll use a dry erase marker mm-hmm. and then that way I can just wipe off what I don't want to use and then I can draw, you know, my next design. Um, just being careful that I don't get that dry erase film or anything on my quilt top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is a great idea. Okay, did anybody check to see if there's a bobbin in there? That's a really good question, Christina. <laughs> um, I think I did. Okay. That was yesterday. So, so I can't remember what I did five minutes Denise, ago. what do you think? Did she sabotage the machine or do you think it's going to be set up? Um, I'm going to double check, actually. <laughs> okay, I've got some good tension on that thread. Okay. I'm feeling pretty safe good. going into this. Okay. 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 All right. You have so much faith crossed. in me. <laughs> we just know you very well. <laughs> I like to have fun. We do. Keep it we real. Do. We do. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little tie off here. And what I'm looking at on my ruler is I've got all these great um, markings etched in, but I wanna make sure those etchings are on the back side Mm -hmm. of the ruler. I wanna be able to read where it says HQ ditch ruler. That way I know the marking is against the fabric and not floating a quarter inch above this thick long arm ruler. So I'm gonna line that up and I'm just eyeballing a target according to what I see on my my ruler etching there. I'm gonna adjust my machine settings here. I want my needle in the down position. Um, I'm in cruise mode. I'm okay with that because I'm at a really low speed of cruise. So, Mm -hmm. and that'll work great jumping back between rulers and free motion. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm hugging the side of my ruler and pressing down. And I like to pause when I get to a place where I need to adjust. I'm going to line that up again. Quilting with rulers, that's never fast. Not really, but it's precise and that's Mm -hmm. what I really like about it. So I'm leaving my needle down right there and I'm just going to go ahead and adjust my ruler again and lining up to a different marking this time. Got some quilt yoga going on here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I'm using the piecing as a guide. I didn't mark anything. I really like that about rulers where I don't have to mark a lot. I can minimize the markings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just lining up. Now you'll notice here, if I try to hit that point, I'm not gonna hit it. So I need to offset my ruler by a quarter inch because my foot's a quarter inch. So just thinking through my process here. Okay. That was the instruction. Okay. Yep. (laughs) Now I'm actually going to look at my Pro Stitcher screen for a minute and make sure we're in free motion mode before I try to jump in here and do some ribbon candy. So we'll see how that looks. (laughs) Okay, here we go. to the end and I'm just gonna stitch in the ditch back over here because I'm watching the path that I'm traveling. Mm. Okay. I like that you've got that all planned out. Mm, Kind of. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. And I need to pause. So I'm choosing a point that's not gonna be noticeable. Mm -hmm. That's a fabric intersection. So I'm just pausing so I can readjust. 
Okay, so I am ready to jump in and do just some loops. And I'm just going to loop. And travel to the next block. All right. Okay. And I added a, stopped and added a little bit of handy grip to my ruler because it was slipping a little bit on me. So it's nice. And I'm going to position the end of my ruler down here and make sure I use that little break part on there to help keep me from shooting past my target. Now it's just rinse and repeat for you. Rinse and it? repeat and quilt yoga because <laughs> I need to move the ruler around. Oh. And we're just going to come in here. Remember where my markings were flip my, ro my ruler over so my ruler grip is actually where I want it. And you'll notice I'm actually taking a minute to position my ruler to help use those, those little end stops, those little breaks to help keep me from shooting past because the machine isn't really set up for somebody my height. <laughs> so that helps me a little bit. I my get, evil plan is working. I get that assist. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come in here and see if I can do sideways ruler or ribbon candy here. stitch in the ditch along the side here, or the bottom, I should say, bottom of that block. And back to loops. Wonky. That's okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, yep, more rinse and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and line up. I'm moving my ruler around because, again, I'm taking advantage of those, those markings there. I can't remember which one my target is anymore, so <laughs> I'm faking it. So you see what I did there? I didn't remember to hug. I didn't hug it. Did she lose points for that one, Christina? <laughs> oh, I think I lose points for that. No excuse there. Oh. You don't she, go out she for could ice cream. add bonus points if she showed how to fix it. Well, I'm going to fix it by pretending it's not there. <laughs> okay, you just won the bonus points because I do not like And I'm to just going to keep quilting. You know, by the time it's all done, it's not going to be noticeable. Oh, for I'm, sure. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Okay, more ribbon candy coming at you. Ditch that again. When you say that, I feel like you're going to skip school. <laughs> I am. I am totally skipping quilt class. Didn't listen to the teacher. Didn't hug the ruler. <laughs> it's all good, though. Oh, that one's fun. Oh boy, just like having curly hair. Sometimes they, they loop the way they want to. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, hugging the ruler this time. Good job, Denise. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. Setting my target there at the other end. Okay, ribbon candy, here we go. And we lost it. <laughs> now here's the question. Are you going to do the inside center or go back and do the last two loops? I don't know yet, so <laughs> that actually just answered my question. Okay. I am. I'm like, you're leaving the center. <laughs> I'm leaving the center for last because I'm trying to figure out if I am going to get another ruler out or if I'm going to free motion that. Okay. Ooh. So, Denise, okay. right behind you is an HQ curvy ruler. Mm. If you're wanting to do that continuous curve in the center with two, or, oh, you're going to get oh. wild and crazy. Go for the wave. I'm going for the wave. But which side should I use? Yeah, That's which curve the big you question. Use? But you said you were going to do a double. Oh. I'm going to do a shallow one first, and then I'm going to come back and use the other side. Ooh, I like it. Okay. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting for sure. So I'm gonna use the markings on my ruler here to line up. And again, I'm watching where that quarter inch is gonna hit. I'm remembering to hug my ruler there. We lean way over on the machine and stretch and reach to get to the back. Because <laughs> when you're 5'2", you do what you got to do. <laughs> okay. So, let's see how this is going to look. Oh, very nice. I can do little curves on my own, but anything bigger than like two inches, I'm going to need a ruler oh. to assist. Okay, there we go. Good. It's done, or I'm calling it done. I think it looks fun. I like it, Denise. Very, very fun option for that box. I think it's fun, and I love that bright green thread. Oh my goodness, it's cute. That was fabulous. Fun, fun. Don't you love doing stuff right on the spot? Just impromptu <laughs> quilting, but you know, no pressure, no pressure. Not no at pressure. all. All right, so, Kim. Kim. You're Ooh. up. All right. Again, no pressure. No pressure here. All right. I'm going to step around to the front of the machine. Denise and I will switch. Okay. Do you need spots. a quick little refresher of what you were going to do? Yeah, I'm going to set Denise's paper over here and I'm going to grab projected. a ruler or two because I got to figure out how to do that big curve. I was sitting there watching Denise <laughs> do that curve going, what have I set myself up for? Um, that one might be better just free motion. I need a bigger curve. Yeah, I think you're right. We'll just, we'll just see, uh, we'll just see what I can do. So, okay, so I want to lay down the framework of the, um, let's see if we've got, okay, good. My button is set up this way. That works. All right, so I'm just gonna do a curve right across there and then I'm gonna come back and do another one. So let's see if I can make it equal on both sides. 
or you can purposely make it not equal. Okay, so I'm not quite hitting the top on that one. So that means I can come back on this one and go a little bit higher and come back. Okay. I see something to go off of. Okay, and because I ended up back here in the same corner, I'm going to go ahead and do this second curve here too. Although I wonder if, no, none of these rulers are big enough. I need the circle rulers is what I need. Christina handicapped me and she didn't even realize it. <laughs> well, if you want to pause for a minute, I can go get you some. Oh, that's okay. So I'm just going to do that much. So I'm travel, I'm traveled over to this next corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my bigger um, arcs there. Oh, and this is where my arcs are going to cross over each other. Ooh. Another design choice. Look at that. I'm going to come back in on this one a little bit. And then I'll do that shallower one there. Okay. And the deeper one again. And then we'll come back and do this a little bit away. Watch the pen. Oh, yes. Or, you know, stitch over it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I stopped in time. Give me credit there. Give me credit there. Okay, that could have been some serious bonus points. Or left. Avoiding, avoiding <laughs> obstacles yes. on the quilt. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I've got my framework in place. I can go ahead and start filling in. So I'm going to do this one across the bottom here first. And I'm just going to do the up and down wiggles. I'm going to adjust my stitch length so it's just a little bit smaller. And do the up and down squiggles. So unlike Denise, I'm just keeping trying to keep these lines kind of straight rather than doing the good old ribbon candy. These blocks are a lot bigger than I thought when I start filling them in. Okay, <laughs> now I gotta do that design sideways. It's the fun thing about free motion quilting. You get to quilt in every direction, right? Gotta remind myself to start to not start making ribbon candy. Denise, you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> Just channeling my inner Debbie Brown. I know. That's actually every time I quilt ribbon candy, I always think of her. I do too. Her multi multiple choice question where she asks, Can you can you quilt a quilt without ribbon candy? She has various choices, but the ultimate answer is, of course not. Ribbon candy belongs in every quilt. You know, I actually like this thread with this quilt block, Christina. I like it with both. It is a good color choice. It is, isn't it? It's fun. All right, I get to do the sideways back and forth again. Squiggles. I don't know, is there a more technical term to this uh, this quilt design? I like the squiggles personally. Squiggles. I think that fits perfectly. I have a customer that calls it that design that people put in when they just can't think of something else to put there. Okay, I like that. Is that all is that all dash? So it's like basically considered one word? Oh yeah, definitely. But definitely. Squiggles is shorter. Okay. Squiggles <laughs> is shorter. Okay, now I'm gonna do some wish bones. I remember when I first started free motion quilting, this was like the design that I wanted to conquer. And believe it or not, it actually took me the longest time to figure out how to do it. I'd sit and draw it and I'd be like, okay, 
I've got this. And then I'd go to the machine and it's like I would forget my stitch path. So, all right, we'll come back there. Okay, and I say that and then I have to think about it. Going sideways, okay, get my brain around this. There we go. Just have to get started right and then it's easy to keep going in the direction you need to. Have to think about it. So Christina, do I get extra points for staying inside the basting line? Oh, so I'm going through some different things in my head to earn points. And so far you guys are both doing really good at doing all good. of those things. But I'm not gonna give you an unfair advantage until you're done. Okay, dang it. I was trying to see if I could get some of the inside track going here <laughs> on what you're, what you're looking for. Okay, I shouldn't talk while I'm quilting. <laughs> but I'm hoping I don't forget all of the things that I'm thinking about before I have to tell you guys at the end. <sighs> Christina gets to be the quilt police today. <laughs> I don't see no badge. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what she's got in her pocket there, right? Okay. Okay. Seriously, going sideways on this, I have to like stop and think no, about I it. No, I totally get that. Okay, there we go. I can't do math. I can't do, uh, I have to think about how to do wishbone sideways. down there now I've got to grab a ruler to do these straight lines in the middle so I'm going to grab the um, skinny ruler which still is not quite long enough I wonder if the other one is straight longer yep that one's longer it's longer okay it's longer but it's still not quite long enough oh actually it is because that's right corner center yeah so I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna start my line about right there so the corner to the center and then the center to a corner corner center and yes when you stitch this design you do have to narrate it so you do it right I'm going to a corner because I just went to a center and I'm going to go back to a center put my ruler around that way center so corner and center. Let me go back a little bit there. Correcting my line. How many points do I get for that one? <laughs> and then we'll go center back to where I started. And let's look at that. Did I get them all? Oh, that's kind of fun. It made that it more of a little bit more of a sideways. So, all right, we're going to call that good. That is 100% exactly what I intended to quilt. <laughs> I'm standing by it. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. Okay. So Bonus points that. for keeping everything continuous. Ah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Hopefully that is bonus points. Actually, right. that was one of my big things that I was watching for to see if you had to Come break your to thread and whether it was intentional or unintentional. Okay. Neither of you guys broke your thread. <laughs> hey, high five on that one, girl. Absolutely. <laughs> That's so, an experienced quilter right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I loved uh, the showing how you use your travel lines. Mm -hmm. On Kim, I loved how you used um, like an odd number of mm -hmm. the same design to travel from one point to the other, and then you came around and did your fourth line all the way around. So that was wonderful. Uh, one of the other things you mentioned, you know, staying within your basting line, mm -hmm. which is also where your binding would right. be on. Right. So that's um, a good thing to be watching for. I did okay on that one. Denise maybe did a little better than I did. Oh, I don't know. Don't look too close. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should get some really up close pictures here. One of these. Yeah. 
You know um, what, though? When I stand back and look at it, both of them, I'm like, I like that. I, mean, I could actually fun. see them on, yeah. a, on a quilt together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be fun. Well, and, you know me. I like those little projects. So mm -hmm. I'm like thinking, hmm, what's this going to be? A placemat? A pillow? I'll make mm. something out of it. Oh. Just something fun. We'll have to see what you come up with. Um, I like the, the green thread on both of them. Mm -hmm. So that it's kind of actually neutral. worked out. I knew yeah. that lime green was neutral. Yeah. It did. It, did it is a fun one. So I think that both of your designs, again, staying in the piecing, working outside of the piecing, they all fully covered that area. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a quilt judge or something, like <laughs> critiquing everything. But well, I think for our blue ribbons. <laughs> oh, I forgot the ribbons. We'll get them later. Yeah. But I, seriously, I, I don't know which one. I think that I will leave this up to our viewers. Oh. So if our viewers can put in, Blue is Denise. Uh -huh. We'll vote call blue, you. Vote blue. Well, should we call you contestant number one <laughs> contestant today? Contestant number one. <laughs> Green is Kim, contestant number two. Turquoise, yay! <laughs> contestant number two. So we'll let you guys have a couple minutes here, or maybe a couple seconds, to vote for yeah. which one you like the most, and. We'll see what project Denise comes up with with these blocks. I don't know. Oh. They, I, I've got some ideas going already. So, but I think you guys did great, and I, I love the idea of you know using that preview paper to get some ideas. Um, I noticed Kim was looking at the quilt behind us to get some ideas off of that also. So looking for inspiration in different mm -hmm. places. So I'm, I'm going to give you guys both bonus points for Sweet. just being you. I love bonus Plus, points. I have to work with them afterwards. So. <laughs> We're both winners today. Yeah. Yes, no, absolutely. Gold stars for both of you. Yay. So, but thank you for watching and thank you for being our contestants today on our fun. quilt off. Yeah. And um, make sure you like and subscribe and keep quilting and have fun. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>